as Harry and Meghan uh, go into day three of their tour of Colombia, the, um, the, the, the news coming out of Scotland is that the king is certainly well enough and um, stable enough to do quite a significant part of his tour of Australia and Samoa, but he won't be travelling to New Zealand. Um, but the the impression given is that the cancer scare has been conquered. It, he's not completely out of the um, or in in the clear yet. But I, the the whole thing with cancer is it's um is, is this uncertainty once the initial disease has been captured and the tumours have been eradicated. Uh, by whatever means, there's always the possibility that they will come back. And so there's an anxiety that uh, continues for some time. And I'm not completely convinced it's always managed terribly well by the medical profession. Um, and, um, you know, I've been caught up in, in these scares myself and uh, it, n not always terribly reassured. And I, I think we need... We need a system where the health service is more respectful of patients and patients' needs, and we need to pull back from this authoritative and slightly um, patronising and paternalistic approach that was traditional in the 1950s and is no longer relevant, partly because the bureaucracy in the system demonstrates that the NHS... Uh, is governed by quite a lot of incompetence, uh, no matter how well-meaning the doctors and nurses may be. Uh, I, I, I was sent off for a blood test the other day uh, to, to establish whether or not some cancer had come back, but the blood test which I took in the end was completely pointless. It was really to ascertain whether I had anemia. And the nurse who took the blood test um, confirmed what I had suspected was that was, was a fairly pointless job and we struggled to get blood out of either arm and uh, eventually it came out which is ironic given the fact that I, I bleed so copiously um, but I, I found recently that um, get, giving blood is really quite difficult uh, my, my veins seem to have retreated um, <laughs> the in, in, in hospital, they were taking so much blood from me. I think my, my veins have um, have uh, have gone into um, into some sort of um, defiance. Anyway, she was very nice and very sympathetic, but I did think that it was an unnecessary ordeal, and it doesn't reassure me in any way. Um, and pe people on the uh, on 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 social media saying, "How are you?" I have no idea. I have no idea, and I'm not quite sure who I would turn to to get that answer. How am I? <laughs> I'm still alive, I suppose. It's not much of a statement, and you, and you think, well, you know, if something, if if something happens that 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 causes the one 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 people to send a doctor in the middle of the night, if they think it's seriousness, if they think it's serious enough, and the GP doesn't really seem terribly bothered except whether or not I've got anemia. It, it, it's really difficult to know what, what else to, to say or do. Um, really difficult. I feel in a certain amount of despair. And, um, and I don't think it's a particular problem with the surgery, the GP surgery that I attend, because other surgeries would behave fairly in, in a fairly similar way. They would certainly send out as the sort of bland um, cover letters which I've received. And it makes one it makes one anxious. I hope the king is getting better care.